All right, Friday night breaks. Look what we're starting with. Jeez, some of these boxes. Well, look at this Bowman mixer. 16, 17, 18 jumbo draft. 16 and 18 Bowman jumbo. Uh, uh, 17, 18 best. And then 17 and 18 chrome hobby and HDA. 11 boxes. So we did the 20 spot where you either got a top 10 pick or two picks. There's only 20 spots. So if you got to pick 11 through 30, or sorry, 11 through 20, you got two teams. Drafted style. Looks like some people got a top all the way down to, well, yeah, 11. A lot of people got top five picks in the top six. Top one, well, that's always going to happen, I guess. Two number one, three number ones, number two and number three. Anyway. Some people got some teams with a little bit lower picks than, or higher picks. Than, even if they got two or three, they still would have got that same team. I don't know what I'm talking about. Am I making any sense? Probably not. <laughs> I'll just stop talking. Uh, all right. Wait, did I show the team? I can't remember anything. Sorry, I had a late night, and then I just took a nap. Still not really awake. There they are again, if I didn't already show them. Oh, gosh, where do you even start? Uh, I was going to do that one. I'll do the bests. I'll save the best for first. Have you been watching the curling at all, Brian? I haven't watched any of it after our... My favorite all-time curler wasn't in it. I lost interest immediately. Funny how that works. Seventeen best. Let's get some sneaky surprise hits out of best. Big disappointment. Yeah, pretty much. Jake Berger to one fifty. Yeah, I still kind of want to watch it, but I don't know why I would. P.J. Conlon for the Mets first autograph. Tron Travolta. What team is she on? There's a Vlad. Vlad Refractor. Man, it's so hard to rank the Blue Jays and mainly the Blue Jays in this. Like, where? How do you possible Vlad like just Chromes or anything? Could be better than hits for a lot of teams. Oh, non-American. Bryce Harper best. Wait, you're rooting for America? America. Yeah, I don't know where to put the Mets either. They have other stuff. Matt Sauer for the Yankees. Slappy. <clears throat> Cheater Best Cuts Atomic. It's really hard to re-rank the teams on old products because they're all, like all the pricing I have is from near release or maybe a little after release I would update it. But then like no one's selling team breaks of any of this older 16 stuff that I can find so I don't know what people would value teams at. I would kind of bump some things up and down but I don't know. That's why you guys get to rank them yourself. You're the experts. Tristan Lutz for the Brewers. Chew. all five and then they'd all be ranked the same like the top five and the bottom five are pretty there's an Eli Jimenez atomic Austin Beck to 250 top five bottom five bottom ten maybe pretty pretty much fine no even the top five is not really for sure nice Brandon McKay refractor Lynn John that middle section. <clears throat> Hold on one sec. 18 best. Let's get a super. Yeah, 
Yeah, what did you do again? Who did what again? Where? Back to rain up here. Is it rain down there, UCC? It's so weird, the, sk the uh, weather, the next 10 days is like rain, sun, rain, sun, like back and forth, rain and sun. Kind of weird. Soto rookie. Uh, LB's refractor rookie. Bryce Terang redemption. Chew your brewers. Off to the hot start brewers. It's snowing back there. Do we still have spring or is it just going to go straight from winter to summer like it does now? There's no spring. There hasn't been spring forever. I don't, it just, it's raining and then one day it's 90 degrees. Seems like what happens. <clears throat> Brandon McKay, best performers. Dose McKay's already. Lynn John. The Rays went 15th in our draft. You never know. You could rank everything perfectly, and then it'd be funny to do after the uh, after the break, break rank the teams by value in the mixer. It would probably be like completely backwards. Not that you would change your rankings because of that, but what is this? Trevor Steffen and an orange Austin Riley. Mm, I think I used my last one the other day. Nope. <laughs> Nobody. No. The whole shot's out of dollars. They had some fives in there, but yeah. yeah. What do you do with that? Wow. Gross. Devers Purple, rookie. Green, Evan White to 99. Linge on your Seattle mirrors. Wisconsin, Oregon, pretty close. All right, I got the best out of the way. Let's do the chromes. Let's, let's just do a big block of jumbos. Right on, Ryan Reynolds. Again with the Ryan Reynolds. I know. <laughs> oh, God. It's funny how it never stops. John Newcomb. C. Rossi. Relic Auto. Uh, 115 of 150. <laughs> As we get older, yeah. And Keegan Aiken for the Orioles. Team Wiz. Did you get McDonald's? Taco Bell. Oh, I was going to say, it smells different. For some reason, I thought that was a McDonald's bag, and I'm like, I'm not smelling McDonald's. This is confusing. Really gray. What up? Miguel Angel Sierra Purple Shimmer. Oops. Let's throw that chrome anywhere. Labor. Dane Dunning. Green Alex Bregman, rookie. UCCF. There's a top yet? Man, I just knocked over the pile again. The base pile. 
Okay, this is probably the hit, so I'll put it in the front the bottom. <laughs> or Steven Duggar will be the hit. UCCF. San Jose Airport? Ah. Well, it's a good thing. Georgia. Yeah, we weren't here half the day. This is a weird day. I came in... I was going to stay home, and then I came in because UPS is supposed to deliver a bunch of stuff. And they just didn't show up, and then I had to have Omni come in because I had to go, and then... I looked up the tracking and it said severe weather delay. Sam Travis Purple. We almost didn't have any 17 Finest. And Omni had to drive across town to a local card shop and buy two boxes of 17 Finest for the mixer. It was weird. Kraus. And a DeGrom Refractor. We'll do 18 Chrome Hobby. And that. 17, 18, 19 Inception. Uh, I kind of did that in that finest Inception timeline one, but I don't have cases of those, like 17 or 18, I don't think. Maybe one of them. Mm, Florial. So, Flawless Football got pushed back to April something, I found out today. I don't even know if it's been announced yet. Oh, well, it's Tatis Jr. Next, I was looking at the next two or three weeks. There's like nothing now. It's just, uh, next week is obviously Gypsy Queen, which Jules is going to do on Thursday, I think. But I'll, all I have is a Prism Draft Football. Akil Badu for the Twins, T-Wizzle. And I have no plans of breaking that. <laughs> well, how am I going to break Prism Draft, uh, or yeah, Prism Draft Football before the draft? Like, I'm not making colleges. We're not doing, like, random hit prison. I don't know how people... You're not doing it by letter. Or no, like... Yeah, letter. Uh, we could do serial number, I guess. David Peterson. There are base autos, though. Yeah, it's like, not going to work. The autographs are not going to be numbered. Labor. I have no intention of breaking any draft football until the draft actually happens. I just don't. I don't know how we would do it. Still in cease. So basically next week I got nothing. I got jewels with Gypsy Queen. And then the week after that, I think is just um, uh, Court Kings basketball, I think is it. I love Court Kings. Yeah, I love that stuff, but it's not gonna, we're not gonna do it all do week. Do it for a whole week, yeah. <clears throat> but with random hit, I mean, part of the reason that Prism is anything is because of all the numbered parallels and stuff. Like, what? Would, how would that work? <clears throat> I guess it's mostly autographs, but uh, redemption. Refractor parallel prospect autograph. Joey Lucchesi for the Padres. UCCF. You know, I just realized I only Tim got into this break. Finally, get a drafted style thing up there, and uh, Tim was probably busy. He didn't even get a spot. It sold quick. I did one, one spot max to make sure everyone could get in. Kane refractor and Chance Adams orange. Well, German Hughes asked me for this style. Yeah, he made it. <clears throat> I think little German got one of the last spots. Five box, 17, five box, 18, five box, 19. Uh, we might be able to do that. Sorry, I'll stir it. All right, still looking for a big hit. I have a couple nice Brendan McKay's. Mm, all right, let's go back in time to 16 Bowman. 
I mean, the sports girls were at the shop today. Oh, they came in? Well, they were at the shop when I went oh, to oh, oh. pick up the stuff. Yeah. They said they're going to be there. Tomorrow. Yeah, they always go to the shop. <laughs> First time in public I've ever been recognized by voice. Really? Tommy's famous now. Yeah. Brady Lail refractor for the Yankees already, Slappy. I can walk into any Sacramento area card shop and people will know who I am. Yeah. That's weird. Oh, that's a Sean Newcomb to 499. I was like confused about like it was draft. I thought those mm. were Get it together. Manny Sanchez. Sophomore standouts. Yeah, there are some who's. The thing is, though, it's it's still young enough that those who's can come back around to be guys that we hear about later. Yeah. He's probably like 22 years old. Rowdy Tellez. What does it say on the back, Sacramento? Elk Grove, California. <coughs> Have you been looking through, like, every... I remember that guy, that cow. We got a million autos of him. Fulmer, turn two, Dylan Tate. Is that Laura? Hopefully. Twenty-five. Uh, all right. Yeah, he's not a young guy anymore. <coughs> Gordon, Vargas, Jorge Mateo Blue. Back when he was on the Yankees. <laughs> Is he Clint Frazier? Frazier came in in 13? Frazier's, right. Yeah, he's still a year behind. Oh, there's a Vlad paper. Uh, Rogers and Dahl. Our old friend Brandon Rogers. For some reason that doesn't look like him. He has a beard, full beard now. Looks totally different. When I saw him in the breaks, I was like, oh, that is not what I thought he yeah. looked like. Yeah, that always happens. The other guy, what's his name? Uh, Kyle. Same thing. I was like, no, that's not what I thought you were like. Drew Jackson for Seattle. Lynn John. Heck was his name? Kyle Kyle Lewis. Yeah. Did you watch him? I don't think so. Trace Thompson, gold paper rookie. Poor Trace Thompson. Solaire. Oh, is that a Tatis? Tatis first crawl. Friggin' Doc. Why did I think Tatis first chromes were in chrome? Nope. They're not. I think Soto's maybe are. I don't think he's. I don't Soto think he has Vlad. base in this. But Vlad has base in 16 regular Bowman. Not cr chromes? Uh huh. What? Yeah. I thought his first Bowman chrome was in the other one. No. Oh. It's in regular. Yeah, it's in regular Bowman. Jeez. Awesome. Can't keep track of anything anymore. That's why I asked. Oh, David Denson. Looking cool. <laughs> That's your guy. That, oh, David Denson, purple paper. Dang, I should be looking slower through the stuff. I looked through. All, I've looked through all. Of them. No Vlad's yet. Mm -mm. Oh, there's still. Is that all? I haven't looked through all. Oh, okay. <laughs> Robles first. Manny Sanchez Refractor, purple, jeez. Paul DeYoung, purple. Spaghetti. Manny Sanchez to 499. Where's that Sean Mania base? <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, 
Rasmus, what up? Daz Cameron. What happened to Daz Cameron? Mike Nickerack. Gray paper. Lucius Fox. Greg Bird rookie. I didn't see any Vlads in these last couple packs. Let's do 18. We'll save the drafts. Soto has no base, only autos. Mm. So nobody has a first Bowman Chrome in 16 Chrome? That matters? Oh, 18 Bowman. It's been a while. We haven't done 18 Bowman for a long time. No. Taylor Ward to 125. I can't believe 19 Bowman's almost here. There's a black Brandon Rogers. Also doesn't look like him. There's a black paper. Vlad Paper in the 16. All right. Dang, no chrome. I bet you could find several videos of me saying this exact, like going, oh yeah, and asking and you guys answering it, and then I forget the next time we do it. I can't remember anything. Just ask Ryan. I can't remember stuff from a month ago that we talked about several times. It's terrible. Checklist for Bowman? No. No way. Maybe a week or at the most like 10 days ahead of the release. It's a gold something. Christian Arroyo gold to 50. Bowman Scouts top 100. Now, were there autographs in 18 Bowman? I forget. Yeah, the nice thing about forgetting everything is I could just talk about it every time like it's the first it's time. A, it's all brand new. There's a Soto Top 100. Justin Dunn to 499 blue paper. All oh, the poor Badgers. What happened? Oh, they're losing? They're down by 12. Thank God. Oh, wait. You hate, hate the Badgers? The Badgers. You're from Wisconsin, you hate the Badgers. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. <clears throat> Their chief rival. Laura again. I think so. Interesting. Cedric Mullins, purple autograph for the Orioles, T Wizzle. Oh, those are a lot of they've announced some of the names, huh? Victor Mesa Mesa. Victor Victor Mesa. Victor Victor Mesa. What did I say? Victor Mesa Mesa. <laughs> uh, Brian Mata to 250. I gotta get some sleep. This is getting ridiculous. I can't go on like this. How do you guys function on five, four or five hours of sleep a night? I've been trying to do it. Can't do it. Last night I went to bed at like. I don't know, 12 30 or 1, and I woke up at like 10. Like, oh I just my slept God. forever. <laughs> I wish I could do that. Alex Verdugo, rookie autograph. Tim, oh, Tim is in this. What am I talking about? He's number 10 Dodgers. God. I just can't say anything. I'm just wrong about everything. I looked up and down the list of names. Well, Tim's not in it. That, so that would be like me being in Sacramento and then like, oh, Tommy, what's the paper? Going to school in Nevada and being like, I hate the, wow. Well. Yeah, if you grew up in Berkeley, didn't go to Cal, and then you went to USC, you wouldn't like Cal. I guess. Matt Hall, I would think your whole childhood you would have been rooting for the Badgers. I was mostly, but I was never like, I don't know if I loved them that much, I would have gone there. 
sound like I didn't go because I couldn't get in or something. I mean, just... Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> I am right about that. Another auto? Jojo Romero for the Phillies. Ben Rhodes fan. dollar for a set of ticket five to the gas station. Can we please make changes? Andrew Stevenson. But don't buy it. Make sure you don't buy the soda there. Yeah. You come back here. <laughs> yeah. I don't like bottled sodas. Cans are so much better. Yeah. I kind of think cans are better too. My dad would always argue with me about how I thought canned beer was better than bottled beer. Because I think back in the day it was not. Like the metal would like leach into the... Oh. Uh, yeah, it definitely is. But I think now it's a lot, you know, it's a lot more likely that like your beer gets old and stuff with the in the sun, those clear bottles. Floor soda. I've never had floor soda. All right, let's go through the draft. 16... See, I think bottled soda is flat. I don't like my soda too bubbly. Oh, I like it real bubbly. I just want all bubbles. That's why I like can. It, it feels like it's better, more carbonated. I don't know. I feel like the the plastic it leaks or something. Like somehow it escapes. Something about the plastic bottle. That's so weird, Jules. Something about it sucks because bottled soda tastes like crap. Uh, plastic bottled. Forest wall black. I don't know if there's glass bottles. Bobby Bradley green. Sometimes you find like Coke and stuff in glass bottles. But... Yeah. Bottled wine. Oh, there he is. Our old friend Kyle Lewis. Lynn John. Just trying to look at is the centering really bad left to right? It looks a little skinny on the left and the top. Maybe don't well, I don't know it's if it's hard to it. tell like Yeah, the borders are weird. There's a glaber refractor. Oh yeah, is it I can't tell. Sixteen's a hard year for me on centering. Because yeah. it doesn't have very defined borders. 17 barely has borders at all. Big Ben. Come on, Bowman Mixer. Give us a gold. Nice UCCF. Huh? He said he had, he had an Acuna oh. Rack and it was a to 15 parallel. Who is opening and closing the door every five seconds? Jacob Hayward Green Paper. Sean Reed Foley. Coke and Glass. Justin Dunn Blue. Tron Travolta.
Reggie Lawson purple. Reese McGuire. Carol. Trying to listen to the conversation out there. All right, come on. Is there one more auto for draft? Bubba shit. Ah, Alex Killer off. T Wizzle, nice one. Well, that box is pretty good. Wasn't Justin Dunn okay? Blue Justin Dunn. I remember Justin Dunn stuff selling pretty well at some point. I think that was a pretty good box of 16 draft. One second, let me get some water here. No, the refractors aren't numbered in draft. They're all unnumbered. There's two per pack. Uh, all right, 17. Dunn's on the Mariners now? I remember at some point, I mean, this is two years old, 16 draft, but I remember people collecting and talking about his stuff being good at some point. Might have been two years ago, though. The Marlins. But it's random Yankees, remember? That's a nice orange Royce Lewis. T Wizzle. Oh, he was with the Kalenic trade. Forgot. Number 91. Yeah, that's not bad. Dang it, we're not going to have a hit recap of. Lonnie's got a hot customer in the shop. Sam Carlson for Seattle. Lynn John. Uh, I think the uh, killer off autograph is probably better than the Orange Royce Lewis. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, no, that is his first Bowman. Jeez, yeah, maybe that is the best one. Dang. Yeah, that's the first Bowman Orange. Good point. That might be the best card. I have no concept of what any firsts of any year is anymore, apparently. I pulled that thinking it was like a second year. Delvin Perez, purple. 9 to 4 tomorrow? Yeah. I'm thinking we're trying to get there at like... 10 a.m. tomorrow. Use Neil Diaz green. <laughs> yeah. Well, you say that, but you know there was a couple years where they didn't put first on there, and it was really confusing. Maybe it was just one year. I can't remember. I don't even trust that anymore. Then we got, well, it's Panini, but we got like second year rookies in Prism. I don't, you know, can't go by that. <clears throat> Hagen Danner, that's a black parallel. E. Siegel, 8 of 75. John Aldridge. Kevin Smith, purple paper. Uh, 
TJ Friedel, blue 70th. Taylor Trammell, he was out there. Brett Nets are gray paper. <laughs> My heritage. And Alex Fado for the Tigers. Great number seven. in a row. Save the two HTAs for last. Oregon beat Wisconsin. I think I actually picked that in my one bracket I did. Because they won the Pac-10 tournament or something and everyone was saying they were good and I was like, cool. Brent Rooker, purple. <clears throat> Albert Abreu to 402. Dylan Cease to 499 blue paper. Oh, we have an autograph finally. Nick Schnell base auto for the Rays. And John. Man, imagine if I didn't have Ami here. I'd be like, hold on, guys. I need to talk to a customer for 30 minutes while we're doing this Bowman break. You guys would freak. I would have locked my door, honestly. Then I get nasty messages on Yelp. <laughs> I got a funny YouTube comment the other day. Someone was like, Brian, you'd like this. Someone was like, uh, if you don't buy into this guy's breaks, don't expect him to answer your questions or something. Or don't expect him to answer any questions if you're not buying into his breaks. And I was like... First off, I don't even know where he asked me a question. Like, do I have to scour the internet? Do I have to read all my YouTube comments just looking for anybody who might have a question for me? And then, for some reason, it's my duty to answer people's questions online. Like, I'm just, I'm just here to serve people online to answer their questions about whatever it is. Second off, I don't even answer your guys' questions, and you're, you do buy the breaks. Why do I have to answer people's questions? Why is that a thing? Do you guys answer people's questions all day? Braxton Ashcraft. Isn't the point of being alive trying not to answer people's questions? Isn't that what we're all trying to do here? I don't even read YouTube comments. They're, they're all just negative. There's nothing for me to... Why would I read them? That box sucked. Oh... Sticker autos, I hate them. <clears throat> so weird. People just think that they they just demand stuff. You should answer my questions. Okay. No. What are you rich? Yeah. Raynell Delgado. So anyway, if you're listening, YouTube user, I didn't do that on purpose. I just don't read the comments. They're all negative. Ooh, Bryce Turing, Black Refractor Auto to 75. Shoot, nice one. Mm. 
Pretty soon it'd be the HPAs for last. Yeah. We're gonna run out of time. I know. Well, either way, we're down. I'd be on the. Yeah, you'd be down early. Yeah. <clears throat> People's mind says, like, this guy is on YouTube making card videos. He should answer my questions. <laughs> Why? I don't even answer my kids' questions. Well, half the time. And Cole Wynn base auto for the Texas Rangers. A little German. Dude, there's a couple nice twins in those Yeah. Like yeah, Royce and this orange and yeah. I didn't even notice it was it was the first Bowman orange. I was like, oh, right, so this orange. Someone was like, that's the best card. And I go, it wasn't even a first. And I go, oh, yeah, it was a first one. All right, HTAs. Give us one last zinger. Did I show you guys the one time that uh, I think I showed it on camera? Some I have like 29 unread messages on Instagram, like direct messages or whatever. One time I went in there and I answered a guy's question, and then he immediately started saying like "you're the worst" or like, or he asked me another question right after that I didn't answer. He's like, "Oh, fine, I see how it is." Or something I'm like, "Yep, that's why I don't. That's why I don't answer any questions." Chris Paddock to start. UCCF. We have Griffin Jacks for the Twins. And Wizzle. Two pieces of white paper. And Jeff Hoffman, a rookie refractor for the Rockies, UCCF. Yeah, and he called me. Yeah, he called me like an a hole or something. That's why I don't answer any questions. All right, left box for break. Quick super fractor out of 18 chrome HTA. De Los Santos for the Phillies. Hey, he's an inception. Ben Rutz fan. Yeah, they're all kids. Oh, we got a gold. That means we might have a weird rookie auto. Shane Bieber gold for the Indians. 5 of 50. UCCF. And rookie? No. Kyle Cody, orange shimmer. 30th pick, last pick, Rangers. A little German. Kyle Cody, orange shimmer. Omni's trying to furiously catch up for a hit recap. The autos are all good to go. Oh, okay. And it wasn't trying to get these three from the last chrome. What? Every autograph in HTA was a pitcher? <laughs> Vigo the Carpathian. Vigs, he's suffering from Carpathian kitten loss. I'll just put one in here right by the castle. Yeah, that was... Tron Travolta was my favorite comment of all time. I know, flirting with customers. That's Omni for you. <clears throat> Alright, here's your hit recap. The lowest numbered auto was the last one we got. Kyle Cody, Orange Shimmer to 25. Shane Bieber, Gold. Well, that's just They're a base. In chronological order. Oh, chronological order. Hoffman, Rookie Refractor, Paddock, Griffin Jacks. That's true. Every auto from the HTA is for pitchers. That's weird. All right, really, Gray? Uh, Bryce Turing, Black Refractor was good. One of those? 75? Oh, yeah. It's on the front there. Thanks. Um, Cole Wynn, Justin Dunblue from 16 draft, killer off first Bowman auto, Carlson, Hagen Danner Black Refractor, Fado, Schnell, Kyle Lewis first auto, 
Romero, Verdugo rookie, Mullins purple, DeYoung purple, Drew Jackson, Brady Lale refractor, Lucchesi refractor redemption, Keel Badu, Duggar, Aiken, Sean Newcomb relic auto from Chrome, Conlon, Sauer, Lutz, Brandon McKay refractor, Brandon McKay best performers, another Turing from best, Stefan and Evan White Green. <clears throat> and then uh, color parallels. Oh, he's still I'm got, almost done. He's got a few more to do, but at the end. Yeah, I do. I'm in a constant state of anxiety about shipments. Yeah. It sucks. You never know. There's that Royce Lewis first Bowman orange. <laughs> the rest was... uh, Royal gold. Thompson rookie gold, Adams orange, Bregman green rookie, Austin Riley orange. There's some weird, um, the last few. some weird tracking issues with this week's packages. Several people were like, my package is across the country from where I live. I don't know why. Is that happening to anyone else? Tatis first Bowman, Vlad paper. All right. Uh, some okay stuff in that mix.